Good morning, Shipbreaker. Lynx would like to share the following message. The only peas permitted in the salvage yard are profit, processor, and potassium trifluoromethane sulfonate. I'm sorry, what? What was that second one? Processor. Gotcha. Okay. Anyways. Uh, good time to wake up and have some potassium sulfur trisulfonate. All right. Anyways, good morning, chip breaker. Reminder, minimum payments are due. Uh, frick. But okay. Oh, no greetings from, uh, from what's his name? Do I have any messages? Nope. Let's stare out into space. Finally, I can relax and say greetings and welcome to Shipbreaker. I was going to say Pit Shaper, which... Gross. Anyways, hopefully we're finally out of the tutorial stages of this nonsense. Ah, check and meal. And by that, I mean it's a meal that has check in it. Not that I'm eating food made for check and Shut up. Yeah, home, home, home. All right. Well, I had my uh, my shacking. See equipment. Yeah. In the last session, we were geared on learning how to use the uh, the links tokens to upgrade ourselves. But um, apparently, I don't have high enough clearance to use them. So I just have seventy six tokens doing absolutely nothing. I don't want to buy a sticker just yet. I would like to repaint the uh, the tools, though. If I can make them, like, black or red instead of the yellow that's got going on, that'd actually be kind of sweet. Actually, let's double-check that to see if that's even possible. Uh, stickers. No, it's just pure actual sticker. Like, I can't really do anything in terms of color. Collect three helmets from ghost ships? I can collect things? Specifically a helmet. Wait, ghost ships? What do you mean by ghost? Vaporized 25 AI nodes. That almost sounds... Spoiler territory. What's a ghost ship? Am I gonna find ships with like... That are haunted and or that have like dead people in it that are... Somehow still alive? Which wouldn't make them dead anymore? That's weird. Alright, well, start my shift I guess. Uh, oh, I have to go into training. Training for what, though? Because I remember in the last session, we dealt with this thing, the Nebulous. Which was actually kind of fun. Minus the fact that uh, it has Fire Hazard. Yeah, we've been upgraded to have Fire Hazard. And I don't like it. But we're in the vacuum of space, and fire needs oxygen to survive and thrive or even to initiate for that matter so being in the vacuum of space i would think that fire would be a non-issue yeah whatever all right we'll start the training i guess claim uh claiming a new ship will clear the salvage bay of your existing ship well i mean we've completed that ship anyways we got all of the money out of it so doesn't matter Uh, is Lynx a pun? No. Thanks for the tip, I guess. Let me tell you how to use these things. Tethers are more oh, yeah, we've been upgraded to use tethers around. now. They're great for moving super heavy salvage. Try okay. Press and hold the secondary input for the grapple to begin placement. Point where you want the salvage to move to, then release the input to create the tether. Oh. Um. Like that? Oh, and look at that. They're moving. But then what if I did... 
See, it goes to the barge. Okay, so that means that we need to put one here. Can I just throw it right down there? I can. Ah. So then what we'll do is we'll take this, tap it to here. Right. Now, what if you want to get rid of the tethers you've already placed? I don't. There's a cancel command you can send. But take note that it clears all of your tethers. Go ahead and try it now. But I don't want to. They're literally going towards the barge. I'm about to get money out of it. Four bucks. Oh. Salvage secured. Applying credit. I only got four dollars out of that. Bro. Alright, so, um, to cancel tether down? Yeah. Oh. There you go. It's just that easy? Now, you've got unlimited tethers during this training exercise. But after this, when you need more, you'll have to buy them from the kiosk. Seriously, well you can I have to buy everything clear out a bunch of that scrap. in order to you work. Stack multiple tethers on one object to increase the pull force. You can also chain objects of any size together to move them as a group. I've seen some cutters do incredible things with a daisy chain of tethers. Daisy Dukes? No. Oh. I don't think that's what he was talking about. Tether, three cubes, okay. So, tether, and then... Tether. I mean, I did. Do you want me to... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh... I don't quite understand what it's asking of me right now. It says to tether three cubes. I've definitely tethered three of them. And I'm sending one to the barge right now. If it's not... Uh, gonna tick over if I send it to the barge, then I'm... Not sure what they're wanting of me. Salvage secured. Account yeah, so we have to send them to the barge. If I put multiples on it, will it go faster? It does. That's nice. So the more tethers I have on the object, right. the stronger it, well done, the pole sir. gets. Like I said, tethers are your friends. Yeah, I may be furry, but I will never be their friend. Creative on how you use them. Now, when you're ready, let's go back to the hab and continue with the day. But it might be nighttime. You don't know that. We're in space. Just because everything is bright and shiny doesn't mean that it's actually daytime. All right. I got 14 dollar. Nice. That'll pay for my chicken meal. Wait, does that mean I'm going to be fine 500k right out the bat? Good morning, shipbreaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you do, you will be successful. Um, I'm sure there's some people that would argue and say that no. That's not exactly how that works. But at the same time, I kind of understand what they're trying to get at. And it's a nice message, but it's a mega corporation talking. Specifically through an AI. And uh, I don't trust them. I absolutely got fined the 500k. Bruh. Come on. I mean, I know I made money in the last session, but that is absolute dog sh You made me go through that training day 
to give me $14, only to then find me $500,000, simply because I exist. I hope you go KIA. And then also no one finds your remains. Uh, not really sure what ship I want to do. That one actually gives me almost 10 million. It's a... Uh, it's a mackerel. It's a heavily modified mackerel. Last owner was the Imperial Electronic. Exolab research model. It's got electrical hazards. Okay. Uh, I want that one, actually. I want to take on the, uh, the macro exolab. Because it just gives me so much more. I know there's a Lynx transport, and I kind of want to tear down Lynx specific vehicles but at the same time money so uh money all right let's do this Gunner, it is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce you to the rest of the crew in our sector no sound off everyone be hey, quiet Name's Luke. i was the worm until you showed up so thank you now I get to do the hazing. What are you talking about? We don't do that. Welcome aboard. Don't listen to her. I'm Dee Dee. Uh, Kai! Your mic's still messed up. How about now? Better. Oh, hey. I'm Kaido. Kai. Mic's still busted, huh? Oh, yeah. Still waiting on the wreck to get through. Uh, heaven forbid they give us functional gear. I'm sure they're working on it as fast as they can. Uh, yeah. I added you to the sector comms channel. It can get lonely out here. Helps to check in with each other from time to time. Chicken. All right. Enough chin wagon. Let's get back to it. Weaver out. Goodbye. Bite. I mean, that's all chickens can do is whack their chins because, you know, they got that weird red thing underneath them. Under their beaks. And sometimes over their beaks. Well, anyways. Uh. Is that the glass? That should be the glass. Disconnected? It is not disconnected? What the? How is it not disconnected? Also, I'm floating. Um, how and why is it not disconnected? Uh, I'm confused. There you go. I'm not sure why that wasn't disconnected, but okay. Get out of here. You're trash. Literally. Get out of here. Transferred. All right, we've opened up the ship. We uh, did a little extra. Ooh, what are these? And they go to the barge. Uh, what about that thing? It also goes to the barge. So if I disconnect this, let's disconnect it from here. Oh, it just exploded, did it? Well, then I guess we won't do that. Hmm. I mean, this thing really does heat up too fast. But we can drop this into the barge now? Question mark? Hundred and twenty K. I gotta make like at least 600 or 700 K in order to make this worth anything. All right, 
Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. I know this uh, airlock door handle thing is worth a ton of money. Oh, is there power going through? Uh-oh. It's electrified. Get out of here. Oh, we need to find... Salvage deposit confirmed. Wherever the, uh, the power box is. Alright. Cutter. Uh, we're gonna use the super cutter because using the regular cutter at the moment is oh grade A trash. Okay, so uh, that whole thing goes to the barge. Rah. Bye bye. 260k easy. Whoa. Uh, what's this communications array? Oh, I can just pull that off. Well, I just pulled off the communications array. Well, I was able to just pull that off. Weird. All right, well, get gone. Money. Oh, it's one of those weird fake door hatch things of a panel. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Um. Oh, my oxygen. I forgot about it. I forgot. This is no longer the tutorial. But, uh, I need to use the actual proper cutter on that thing because the clamps are too small for me to just, uh, vaporize it with the long variant of the cutter. The long nozzle, I guess we can call it. Uh, ha, grab the terminal. Warning. Oxygen supplies are critical. Not anymore, they're not. Alright. Is that another communications array? Why does it have two communications arrays on it? I would think one would be enough to, you know, communicate. It's kind of the point of having one. Unless one is like long range and the other one is short range. But then I would think they would just compile it into one device anyways. There'd be no need to make a second one that would practically be redundant. Oh. Sorry, ship. Well, the ship's gonna start rotating now, which, uh, is kind of not good. It has rotated a little. All right, so rotate. Cut that. Cut the other thing. See, that's what the, the big cutter is for, is for thick pieces like that that I can't deal with. Uh, that goes to the barge, right? Yeah, it does. I just hucked it down there without thinking about it. I was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yep. Okay, alright. So now let's remove this back panel. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. That's one. That's two. And there goes the thruster cap. Get out of here, you trash. But not actually. I need my money. Your recycles. Object. Applying credits to account. Wow, the thruster cap is just so expensive. Okay, um... Some light bulbs here. Let me grab the panel. Grab it! There we go. Again, I don't know what my paw was doing there. Something inappropriate. Gonna have to censor that for YouTube editor. No! Whoop! Oh! That 
that was thruster fuel that I exploded? Well, um... Mm. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really need it anyways. But apparently there's extra thruster fuel. So that's got disconnected. So I don't actually have to disconnect this thing from the panel. Oh, hey, door lock. Back. And since both of these go to the processor... Uh, lift it! Ah. My grapple gun is just not strong enough. Although I could, uh, whoops, could use a tether. But I have to buy them, and I only have 20 of them at the moment, and I don't really want to just start wasting them. Oh, hey, what's this? This is a suit patch kit. I grabbed that? Yes. I am amazing at what I do. I grabbed a computer terminal. It's worth $100,000. Bro, if my computer was worth $100,000, you think I'd be spending my time doing YouTube stuff? Yes, I would, actually. But it would be way more powerful than anybody else's computer, and I can laugh at them and call them plebs. All right, Cutter. You got about five minutes to fill your boots. What? Five minutes left. Weaver fill? I don't want to fill my boots, though, unless they're filled with my own feet. But, I mean, that's usually what you do with boots. Also, why do I have five... Why am I timed all of a sudden? Is that the generator? It's a power cell. Um, uh, can I grab it? I grabbed it. It's electrified. Get out of here. So, was that... Oh no, there's another purple thing over there. So there's multiple power cells. I mean, I guess that would make sense, but... Ugh. I don't know if I trust. I don't really trust pulling that off of the thing. Okay. So this panel should be able to be moved? Question mark? No. Was that not the right panel? Oh, it's probably all these things that are hardwired. Whoop. Okay. So all of the uh, the electrical wiring that's housing, well, the electricity is uh, also fastened to the panel, which is not good because that means I have to disconnect the power because if I try to disconnect the electrical wiring with it still generating power, it's going to electrocute me or cause a problem. And I'd like for neither of those to be a thing. Oh. oh. I also need to buy uh, two repair kits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you for your purchase. Have a nice day. Alright. It says I got seven, but I definitely counted my button presses. I mean, either way, it doesn't really matter. I bought a bunch of them, and that's the, uh... The ultimate goal there. Is this panel able to come off? Come to me. Whoop. Nope. <laughs> that thing was about to smack that shit out of me. Okay, I, I didn't want it to go into the furnace. I thought it was aiming for the furnace. Why is this thing's range not working? It was working past session. Suddenly, I didn't want to accept range as a thing. Okay, so I need to find a way to... What's that? Bunny? Pick up. I can collect a bunny. Bunny character D. Popular children's toy contains real bones. Uh, That's very scary and questionable. It's a squeaky toy. 
Why does the bunny contain real bones in it? I think the bigger question though is are they rabbit bones? Or are they human bones molded into rabbit bones? Either way, I wish they would not have done that. That is, uh, disgusting. Why would you make a toy that has real life components of anything? All right, Cutter, wrap it up. You got about a minute left. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm being timed. So the lights are worth three and a half K. Mm. Yeah, I don't really need to. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Hmm. And part of the ship was electrified. Yeah, I don't feel like I need to disconnect all the lights. I will absolutely disconnect the power cell. Because uh, that's dangerous. Okay. And throw it. Love being able to do that. Oh, I thought something bad was happening, and then I realized, oh no, it's just the timer going down. Oh, really? It just kicks me out? I mean, I haven't destroyed anything yet, and I gained $2.5 million out of all the things that I salvaged, so... Solar battery? What solar battery? Oh, was that part of the communications array? No, because I only got one of them. What solar battery? Oh, wait, maybe it was those things at the bottom that I was uh, disengaging from the, uh, the hull of the ship. No, because those were touted as only being like... 100, 200k a piece. Yeah, high gain antenna. So, yeah, where was the solar battery this whole time? And where did it go? I mean, obviously, it went somewhere where it allowed me to gain money out of it, but I am confused as to where it was this whole time because I never saw it. Yeah, well. All that matters is that it paid for uh, my fees for both yesterday and today. Which is nice. But really, they, they, they're they timing me now? You have one incoming transmission waiting. And I tell them I'm busy. I'm monologuing. Like, seriously. They just decided out of nowhere to start timing me for uh for my work yeah i'm gonna eat a jacket first yeah nummy give me a soda what we're out of soda dang it uh, my editor is on a watch list now to make sure that i get my soda if I don't get it within the next 24 hours, I'm going to be pissed. Squeaky? Squeaky. Very interesting. Um, I'm actually concerned about the timer, though. Do, am I, like, fully timed now to be able to tear that ship down in a specific amount before it uh, basically says that I failed to tear down the salvage? Because if so, that's going to get super irritating. Hey, Rook. I was thinking our crew should crack some beer sometime. You know, shoot the breeze, fantasize about a debt-free life and all that. Beer is disgusting. Not that that's going to happen anytime soon. Like, Weaver's been at this for years. 20, maybe? It's also too close to the word bear. I was just getting kicked out of grade school when And bears <laughs> are absolutely garbage. He sends most of her money home. I hate Goes bears. Length, of course. With huge transfer fees. And Kaido. Well, look. How do you Kai's send money great. to anybody when you're $1.2 billion dollars in debt? For the work. Lynx calls him a low earner. As for me, I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. I just need enough to get me one of those mining skips. You know, for belt running. 
There's still so many rich rocks along the frontier line. Rocks? Eventually you want to hire some friends from back home. Well, the Earth platforms. Rocks are the Mars? devil. Good people. But work's hard to find there. Hmm. Don't know when that'll be, though. Just when I think I'm earning at a steady clip. There's another fine or fee. This job's fun as hell and all, but... Watch your mouth, girl. I got other plans. Maybe you do, too. Anyway, don't want to get a fine for tying up comms? Kidding! That's not a thing. I don't think. Either way, good luck, Rook. Lou out. Eh. Whatever to you, girl. Just make sure to watch your mouth. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Today's weather report, clear and sunny, with a high of minus 270 degrees. Ah. That's pretty tame. Minus 270 degrees. Is that Celsius or Fahrenheit? I mean, either way, it's still in the minus. But if it's Celsius, that's definitely bad. Ah, whatever. Bunny character D is a popular children's video character. An anthropomorphic pink rabbit, it was one of dozens of characters introduced as part of Pan Terran Media Con uh, Glomerate's Fun Friend Animals Pilot Program. I didn't think it said conglomerate. That was going to say something else because, you know, future. I mean, it said Pan Terran. Could have been something else. The program featured a wide range of stylized animal-based characters, and heavy physiological analysis was used to determine which of these characters were most popular. Heavy psychological analysis. Uh, you know, they kind of do that with everything, honestly. But, you never know. Maybe your heavy psychological analysis states that, ah, people like the, uh, Winnie the Pooh, and then all of a sudden, you know, everyone's like, no, 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 we like Piglet. Because, you know, reasons. Or Eeyore. Or even Rabbit. It's like, your analysis is trash when it comes to the general public. The general public will just straight up be like, no, we don't like what you're, you know, trying to sell here. We're not liking the fact that you're trying to make the main character likable. The main character is trash. Anyways. So, despite appearing very similar to bunny characters, A, B, C, E, and G, bunny character D, wait, that's literally all their names are? It's just character A, B, C, E, and G, along with D? Where's F? You skipped F. Okay. Um. Well, whatever. While being, uh, the least popular with this age group reportedly due to disturbing facial features. Oh, that was the talk about the F character. I'm uh, skipping the lines. Hang on. Uh, which is characters more popular? Yeah. Despite being very similar. A, B, C, D. Okay. Character D was determined to be the most popular uh, among children aged 4 to 12. Interestingly, bunny character F, while being the least popular with this age group, reportedly due to disturbing facial features, proved most popular amongst those aged 25 to 40. What, does it got like a foxy feature where like half his face is broken? And is featured in a series of video games for adults. Hmm. Probably got some hentai nonsense going on there. Several of the program's characters, notably Moose character, Pigeon character, A to C, and Salmon character, why? Why are they just called character? <laughs> they didn't bother to give them proper names. Uh, this freaking conglomerate sucks. Were determined to be unpopular because they were based on animals that had been extinct for over a hundred years. What? Moose, pigeon, and salmon? What happened? There's no way moose can go extinct. There's a whole freaking country dedicated to them, and it's called Canada. You ain't never gonna get rid of the moose. In their latest video series, Bunny Does the Right Thing, Bunny character D opens an ice cream shop in New York. 
However, after Blight Rats infest the shop, the Health Administration forces the shop to close. Many of Bunny Character D's friends encourage them to apply for Government Small Business Assistance. GSBA, huh? But why? Why specifically the GSBA? To help them get a new shop. However, a wise government official helps Bunny Character D understand that the best thing they can do is not apply, as this would unnecessarily draw valuable finances away from the government that could be used for the betterment of society elsewhere. Go f yourself. I don't give a sh that they're drawing money from the government. The government draws money from the taxpayers. Unnecessarily at that. The moral of the story is to trust in market forces and in government to make the best decisions for everyone. That is a yeah moral. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. I gained two million dollar. Nice. New sticker unlocked. View more in your sticker app. Okay. Good morning. Thank you. Yeah. Good night. How you holding up there, Cutter? Seems like you're getting the knack for it. Trust me, when you get well-versed in the art of shipbreaking, it becomes a joy to show up to the yard each day. Ain't a tray like it. Dancing between the ribs of a ship, spitting heat, do -si -do with a ten-ton panel, taking a breather, gaze out at the rest of the human race, buzzing in the distance. Huh. You tell I miss it. It's all right. Helping y'all get there is near as good. Ah, dang it. I got corporate ringing me. Good luck out there today, Cutter. Talk to you again soon. Weaver I kind of hope that you don't talk to me ever again, Weaver. Because, uh, I hate everything you just said. You need a check. -in. Yeah, I guess some, uh, some chocolate milk, because I'm out of soda. I'm still expecting that soda, editor. Better give it to me. Alright. Um. Now I can't unlock anything, so. I guess continue my shift. So we got past level one. We get two repair kits at the end of this. Oh, that's nice. Core system power cell. Continue the ship, I guess. Church of the Machine God, Book 1, Genesis. And lo, she came unto us and freed us from our mechanical shackles. Men unto men. Machines unto machines. I hate that quote. I hate that paragraph. And I hate everything you stand for and all your religion nonsense of uh, whatever the machine god is. It's not a real god. Whoop, I'm floating. Alright. Uh, what else can we tear down with this uh, ship? So it's literally just going to time me 15 minutes? Why 15 minutes specifically? So it's going to time us... To, uh, to salvage the ship. So, we have 15 minutes to basically move all this. That's, uh, electrified. Get it out of here. Or that could just be, like, the gravity well of my gun. Like, the particle effects of it. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Okay. I really hope I don't have to... Disconnect these individually. Although I did disconnect the power. So. Bruh. Wait. Bruh. It is moving. Very slowly. Okay, so we have disconnected. Okay, so we do have to remove all the, uh, the wiring. And since it's been detached from the ship, that means. We, uh. Don't need to worry about it. I'm assuming that's the cut point. Oh no, they're gonna be itty bitty tiny pieces just like the lights. 
Yeah, but they're all worth six grand. And uh, if each piece is six grand and there's like four to five pieces per panel, I definitely don't want to huck that into the wrong area. I want to make sure that I pull off each of these pieces and throw them to their respective locations. I'm still not going to bother with the lights because uh, it's just one light bulb connected to the panel. All right. All right, so that's all of the wiring removed. Uh, is there a way I can move the panel? Without moving. No, not really. I was going to say without moving the wires, but unfortunately, that was not going to be the case. Get out of here. Okay, so now I got to throw all these things into the furnace. Why would you throw a wiring into the furnace. I would think you'd want to salvage that in some capacity. Oh. Well. Valuable object accepted for processing. Oh, I have an idea. Uh tether. And tether. Whoops. I missed the tether on that. Tether. I can't. Let me. What's going on here? I'm trying to. I don't know what just happened there. I was trying to... Ooh. I was trying to... Ah, tether all of the wiring pieces together. And then throw them into the furnace all at once. Yeah, I don't like that uh, I have to be very precise with the tethering. Swoop. There they go. You get out of here. You're bothering me. It took me five minutes to get this one side of the ship done. The frack. And I'm not even actually properly done. Actually, you know what? Since that's heavy, why don't I just tether that over that way? Ah, uh, whatever, girl. I don't need to breathe. I can turn on my helmet light. I also do need some jet fuel. Because, uh, whoa, no! Overshot the panel. Alright, uh, thruster fuel. One, two, three, four, five of those tool repair kits. Because reasons. I'm gonna have like a thousand repair kits by the end of all this nonsense. If there even is an end. I have so many repair kits. Although, for some reason, none of my stuff is actually breaking. I'm wondering if it requires me to do specific dumb things for me to break my equipment. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
bad. There you go. Okay, I only have 11 tethers. I'm gonna try this again. So we tethered those two pieces. I missed. Tether these. Then tether this. And then grab this thing and huck it. Yeah, that's how you would do it. All right. Now we gotta do that for the other side. I only have seven tethers. I wonder how much the tethers are. And it's like, how much is it gonna cost for one versus like the whole, uh, the whole setup? Like the whole lot of tethers that I have to, uh, to gain the maximum amount. Oh, there goes that panel. I think I just smacked the ship again. Ship looks like it's a little bit out of alignment. Object processed. Transferring credits. I can't get in here, can I? Never mind. Yes, I can. Oh, there's two power cells here and a door. That's a little, uh, a little scary. Oh, I can just face through that? Oh, no, my gun can face through that. Hmm. That only slightly makes sense. How do I get the, uh, the power cells? I'm probably gonna have to disconnect this panel. Yeah, let's disconnect this panel. That'll give me a little bit better access to the electrical wiring. Get out of here. You are Garbo? Alright, bye. I don't really want to disengage the airlock. Whoop. Too much downward thrust. Whoop. No, get back here! <laughs> I didn't realize that had disconnected. Whoop. Okay, you stop. Stop doing the dumb things. Other panel. Okay. Got a whole lot of stuff on the inside. Shift clock says five minutes left. You know what to do. We I, I don't think I do. What's this thing? Dink. Now whatever. Uh power junction box. Can I interact with that? Can I turn off the power? It's looking like a no. Yeah. I mean, there is only one more power cell. Uh, I don't think I can squeeze through that. Nope. I can squeeze through the other way. But I didn't really want to have to go all through this nonsense the long way around. With the power cell in my grasp. Potentially electrifying everything around me. And then causing a hazard. Get out of here. So that means everything should be off. Door. Oh! Door. Your oxygen reserves are dropping below statistically Whoop. profitable levels. Profitable? Frick your profitable nonsense. Deposit accepted for processing.
Girl, I got like three minutes. Come on. You couldn't like give me a few extra tanks for three minutes. Ugh. So much of my equipment needs to be upgraded. It's taking too long to do a lot of things. Oxygen reserves critical. Lynx recommends avoiding stressful workplace oh, oh, situations oh, oh, while oxygen levels are low. Alright, yeah, that should get me through the rest of the shift, apparently. I mean, it's... Interesting to note that the game times me per shift. I guess that can kind of be my, uh... My benchmark for being like, okay, yo, know, we're done uh, recording here. Still kind of weird, though. Not sure why they do that. Not sure why that's necessary. Like, I would think that if they wanted me to just continue to work indefinitely to get a ship tore down and recycled, that they wouldn't be concerned about time unless it's like, I'm taking five hours to take off one panel. Then they can be concerned and be like, hmm, you need to work a little faster. Panels are disconnected. Push. Oh, I'm taking the uh, the airlock door with me. I like the idea of being able to push myself up against the panel and then just use my thrusters to disconnect the uh, the piece, which I could easily. I guess if I can do it with my thrusters, I could probably easily use the grapple to push it. Never mind. Weird. My thrusters are more powerful than my grapple gun. One minute left, Cutter. I'd say I get a move on, but you know that already. Uh, no, I don't. Question mark. All right. Well, with one minute left, I don't really have a means to. Do anything here. Just gonna disconnect all these wiring bits. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then after disconnecting them, I was gonna say we might be able to uh, throw some of them in the furnace, but no, we got 15 seconds left. No, it overheated. Oh, I didn't get the last panel lock. I made $1.2 million. I mean, that's pretty good, all things considered, since I only did what? I did... A couple power cells. And the, uh... The left side, I guess you can consider it. The left side hull of the ship. Uh, I would have liked to have been able to get rid of the right side, though, as well. But then at that point, all we have left is all the electronics inside the frame and then the frame itself. Yeah, whatever. Still, made a lot of money. Didn't really get anywhere. You know, progression-wise, as you can say. But I mean, that just means we get to uh, disassemble the ship more or less completely in the next session. That'll be interesting. Good morning, ship breaker. Your theta wave levels are high. Please administer two caffeine pods before starting your shift. What do you know about theta waves? What if I don't have any theta waves? What if I'm theta waveless? Also, what? Oh, whatever. Uh, 
Is there anything new here other than my 500k fine? Nope. Alright, I'm going to go eat some chacken. And then say uh, that'll be the end of today's session. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay safe. Take care. And we'll see you in the next session.